My name is Daniel, I'm 20 years old and I'm studying economics in Trinity College. I was born in Brazil um, and then when I was four years old my dad got a job here in Ireland um, so I've moved here and I've been living here ever since. Because I never actually went to school um, in Brazil I sort of learned by speaking with my parents and speaking to my family. I, I would count myself as fully fluent Portuguese and that lets me go back to Brazil you know for one or two months every summer uh, go back and have fun there um, with my friends and family. Whenever I'm trying to think um, through something the different languages sort of help you think through problems because different languages think about things in different ways. One language will maybe structure something a little bit differently. Having that ability to think in different languages can help you actually think about problems differently. Having a second language really kind of opens up your options globally. You can kind of go anywhere because you sort of have this different viewpoint of the world. It makes it really easy to learn other languages. So for instance, I did Spanish in secondary school. I learned that very easily because Portuguese is quite similar. Um, I'm also now learning Italian. And I think that's massively important both for yourself and, and that sort of whole global mobility aspect, but also in terms of if you're looking at it, employers now, and I know that there are many employers that won't even uh, consider you unless you're fluent in at least two languages. Holding on to your native language is massively important and I think it's really important to keep on to your heritage because there is this thriving community that you can be a part of and it's just an, again like another door, another um, community that you can be a part of. Learning a new language is particularly interesting and important if you have dreams of traveling around the world. So for instance, I've had friends who've backpacked around South America, but they've only visited, you know, the middle of Rio where all the hotels and touristy attractions are. They've only visited Colombia, but they've only visited, you know, the main tourist attractions. They've only gone to Machu Picchu and they've struggled to sort of communicate there and they can't really go beyond that. So I think for me, when I go to a place, I like to get sort of the genuine experience of somebody who lives there day to day. And that's something that you just can't really get if you just speak English. Um, so I think speaking Portuguese opens uh, so many new doors for me when I go to Brazil because I can go anywhere, I can communicate anywhere, I can talk to whoever I want and, and sort of have those experiences. I could live um, pretty much as a local does because I have the ability to communicate and to move around that country.